Hey guys, Nexi here back with another video and today we have OnePlus 5T to review. OnePlus 5T is a slightly upgraded OnePlus 5 model and now it has that modern almost bezel-less look with that taller screen. And now let's do the unboxing. Package is very simple and inside the box you're going to find OnePlus 5T, silicon case, USB Type-C cable and a very fast dash charger which I will mention later in the review. With a new 6-inch AMOLED display 18 by 9 aspect ratio, screen on the OnePlus 5T is stretching almost over the entire front side of the phone. On the top of the screen there is a front-facing camera with a 16 megapixel f2.1 lens, a very high-res selfie camera with a face recognition which is extremely fast and it works very well even in the dark. It's not secure for the payment like on iPhone 10, but it's a much faster and you cannot fool it with your picture. Finger sensor on the back is on the very convenient place and is super fast as well and it unlocks the phone in the blink of the second. It works every time. The main camera is 16 megapixel f1.7 aperture and the secondary camera is the 20 megapixel with the same f1.7 aperture but it has the smaller pixel size which should be better in a low light and it has the portrait mode. The body of the phone is made from anodized aluminum and it looks and feels premium but it's a very slippery and it's good that OnePlus include the case in a package which I have on my phone from day one. Also the case extends a little bit in the corners for the extra protection of the screen which is cool. On the right side of the phone there is a power button and on the left side there is a volume up and down button as well with a slider which lets you choose between the ring, do not disturb and silent. To my opinion, every phone should have this. Also, I want to mention that the buttons feel very nice and solid. There is no rattling or any bad clicking sound. On the bottom of the phone, there is a Type-C charging port, loudspeaker, microphone and 3.5 mm jack, which is great to see that it's still with us. Over the 16-inch display is the Gorilla Glass 5 with a screen protector that comes pre-installed out from the box, which is nice. The display is an AMOLED and it comes with a resolution 2160 by 1080. It's not the super high res, but with 401 pp, it's a plenty of pixels. Screen is nice and bright, colors and contrasts are great, and you can customize the colors to make it more natural if you like. The screen is made by Samsung, so you know that you get the high quality screen. OnePlus 5T comes with a high end specification. You get a Snapdragon 835 CPU, 6 or 8 GB of RAM, depending on your choice. 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage. It has the Bluetooth 5.0, which has the new codecs for the high audio quality. It has the dual SIM, but there is no microSD card support, so you need to choose the right version from the start. My unit from the box came with Android 7.11, but recently it's upgraded to Android Oreo 8.0. The battery capacity is 3300 milliamps, and OnePlus 5T has no IP certification, so you need to stay away from the water. When it comes to performance, OnePlus 5T is a very fast phone. Everything is so smooth and snappy, apps open and close in a blink of the eye thanks to the high-end specs and Oxygen OS which provide clean, almost stock Android experience without tons of unnecessary apps. You can customize the dashboard however that you like by adding the widgets or you can customize the navigation buttons and add the more features to them to make them more useful. There is a parallel apps feature which lets you to have multiple accounts on a social media apps. You can add secure pin code to any app for extra protection. In the SIM and network settings, you can switch on and off either of two SIM cards without need to reboot the phone. And you can choose which SIM card should be used for calls, SMS or 4G data. When it comes to games and benchmark scores are very high and the graphic intense games run smooth as butter. I have nothing to complain here and I had a very enjoyable experience for the last 3 months using this phone. When it comes to the camera, this dual shutter does not have 2 times optical zoom like on OnePlus 5 and the secondary 20 megapixel camera is mostly used for the portrait mode and the low light photography. Image quality on a daylight, photos looking great, plenty of details, good color reproduction, photos are nice and sharp. On the low light, it's performed pretty good, but nothing spectacular here and I didn't notice any major quality upgrade in a low light over my S7 Edge or the S8. In a portrait mode, photos are pretty nice too for getting that depth effect. There is also a decent slow motion, time lapse and the pro mode for those who need extra settings like ISO, shutter speed, light color to get that highest picture quality. 
When it comes to video quality, OnePlus 5T shoots 4K in 30 frames per second and 1080p in 60 frames per second. Video quality are pretty good in the 4K and 1080p and digital image stabilization is doing pretty good job so even if you have very shaky hands or if you walk you will still get surprising stable video quality for the phone without any optic stabilization. OnePlus 5T did definitely a good job here with the main camera but not so much with the front facing camera who shoots 1080p and images a way too much crop which is unfortunately for a 16 megapixel selfie camera. When it comes to audio quality the phone call sounds are nice and clear, bottom media speaker is loud and sounds very good but like on the most smartphones it's very easy to muffle the sound with a finger. On other hand the audio quality on 3.5mm jack is very good, clear, clear and loud. You can also fine tune audio and when you increase the bass level for example the main volume is not affected so you can have the full blast on the bass for example without compromising the volume levels like on other smartphones. The battery is OnePlus 5T is a very good and 3300 mAh will get you through the full day just fine and with a 4 amp dash charger is a very quickly to top out. In just 30 minutes you will get up to 60% of the battery which is the fastest in industry. Full charge takes just over one hour and one thing that is good about the dash charger is that even with a 4 amp charging power the battery did not heat up as much as with a Qualcomm quick charge so you can charge OnePlus 5T in a full speed even with the screen on and even while playing games without compromising the charging time. Only my complaint is that OnePlus 5T does not have the wires charging and the fast charging is only supported by dash charger so you need to have it with yourself. So to conclude, OnePlus 5T is a great smartphone offering a lot for $500 price point. It's not too expensive but it's not too cheap either. But for that what it has to offer, I think the OnePlus 5T is a great choice and if you can live without the water resistance and the wires charging, I can definitely recommend to get one. Alright guys, that was my review of OnePlus 5T. I will leave links in the video description. Thanks for the watching and I see you next time.